I know I've said it already, but I really am thrilled to be here today at the historic Irvington Theatre performing on this beautiful stage. And I thought I'd take a quick intermission at this point to let you in on exactly why this place means so much to me. Uh, aside from growing up nearby and sitting in this very audience with my parents watching shows, I also had one of my most important acting jobs here as a young adult. Uh, back in 2001, I was lucky enough to be cast in Pleasant Film Music Theatre's production of Candide, where I played the operatic ingenue Kunigunda. Now, I had never played a lead like that before, and I had never sung soprano like that before, so I was very nervous. But I ultimately have great memories of overcoming my fears and performing the famous song Glitter and Me Gay on this very stage, and it all taught me so, so much as a growing performer. I have many wonderful memories of being in this building, and I'm sure that you do too. So I thought a quick tour around the theater would be a great way to refresh our memories and remind us all why the Irvington Theater means so much to all of us. The Irvington Theatre first opened in 1902 and quickly became known as the cultural heart of the river towns. Modeled after the Ford's Theatre in D.C., the New York Times has called it a jewel of a theatre on the Hudson, and it's currently in the National Register of Historic Places. However, by 1960, the building had fallen into disrepair and was in desperate need of saving. That's when residents, along with groups like the Junior League and the Thursday Club, lobbied the Board of Trustees to save the theater and helped raise enough funds to restore it to its original glory. In 1980, the theater had its grand reopening, showcasing its Victorian-style chandeliers, the 42-foot-high Lord and Burnham skylight, and its six gold-leaf boxes with classically-styled balustrades separated by Doric posts with atomesque detail. Thank you very much. But perhaps the most modern update was the addition of the building's first and only elevator. The reopening was a great success, and since then, the theater has thrived as a home for multiple performance groups. It's currently home to the Clock Tower Players, the Broadway Training Center, Common Ground Concerts, and River's Edge Theater Company. At the same time, Irvington Theater continues to produce its own music, film, and dance events, like the all-inclusive Irvington in Concert Music Series, the As If Short Film Festival, and the special event series, In Our Own Words, that works to bring social justice issues center stage through art and conversation. Since reopening, the Irvington Theatre has worked tirelessly to engage and entertain patrons like you with the most diverse and inclusive programming they can think of. And during this shutdown, they've continued to make updates to keep you coming back. From renovating the dressing rooms, to fixing the squeaky floorboards, well, not that one, to installing assisted listening devices so you can hear every note and every whisper from everywhere in the house. The Irvington Theatre has remained devoted to the Rivertown community because they literally wouldn't be here without your support. And patrons like you are exactly why the Irvington Theatre is committed to being a community for all. Thank you so much for joining me on this little tour. I hope I jogged some old memories and inspired you to create some new ones at this beautiful venue. Now, on with the show.